guys, so I am going to be doing my top 12 favorite drugstore items. I've been really into getting makeup from the drugstore recently just because there are so many drugstores close to me where I live now and we always have to like run in to buy toothpaste or pick up prescriptions or anything like that so I always find myself wandering around the aisles or I just find myself at Walgreens, CVS and Rite Aid a lot and I feel like I've accumulated enough that I can actually start to do a favorite series of my favorite items for the drugstore so get excited for that. So basically this one is just kind of an overarching one it's just my, my top 12 ones one from each category if you guys are interested in me doing um, like all my top favorites of lip products, my top favorite drugstore foundations, eyeshadows, all that stuff, please let me know in the down bar, in the comments, that's what I meant, the comments, then I will definitely do that, but for now this is what I'm doing, I hope you guys enjoy it. The first one is foundation, and as you guys know, I rock drugstore foundation all the time, it's basically all I wear as foundation, um, but I had, it was a hard time for me picking out the one that I love like the very, very, very most, um, this one I'm not even currently using right now because I don't have my shade, I need to go and buy my shading in this. I've been lusting after this, but I definitely decided I have all the foundations from the drugstore I've tried. This is by far my favorite. And it is the Revlon Color Stay. I freaking love this foundation. It's amazing. I have dry skin and I really like how it works with my dry skin. My friends with oily skin who uses one for oily skin is great. They have an amazing color selection. And for me, this is just like enough coverage. Um, I really love that it's like I'd say medium coverage and it's definitely very buildable and it doesn't really look cakey or anything gross like that and the number one icing on the cake for that one is it does not break me out which I have a very hard time finding foundations that don't break me out this one most definitely does not break me out as of now I'm just thinking this is probably my favorite as for drugstore to concealer I can honestly say I have not tried that many drugstore concealers just because I've sworn by my two MAC ones forever but um, when I was out of them for some reason, I like didn't have a close Sephora or a close Mac. Why did I go to Sephora to buy something from Mac? A close Mac counter or store near me, so I couldn't buy it. So in the interim, I used the Neutrogena Three in One Concealer for Eyes. I had started using this as my first concealer. I love this. I use it under my eyes, but at the same time, you could also use it wherever you want. It has SPF 20. The color selection is really crappy. There's not a lot of colors at all, but I don't know. I really like this. This is a very easy light concealer. I definitely don't use this for heavy duty days, but um, if I have a thick enough and a co full coverage enough foundation, I don't really feel like I need as much of a heavy concealer, but um, I really like this, and it's very brightening and makes your whole face illuminate. Next for face product is bronzer, and I'm sure all of you can guess what I'm going to say. Wait for it. It's a cult favorite. It's one of my personal favorites. It is the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer in Sunny. This is like my third or fourth one. It's basically just like a plain powder bronzer. It is matte. It has no shimmer in it. It's just very natural to use to contour your face or just to use to match if your skin's, if your body's darker than your face, anything like that. It's like a perfect one that you can use for all over your face and it doesn't get too gross looking. It doesn't make you muddy. It doesn't make you look orange. And it honestly is just a really, really fantastic bronzer. I highly recommend it and it's only like $2. So next I have two blushes and one is a cream and one is a powder. So don't go down and be like, Megan, you picked two. Well, suck it. I like blush. The first one is a cream blush and this is the NYC Blushable Cream Stick and this one is a Big Apple Blush. I absolutely love this. Basically what this is, is it's just like a creamy stick brush blush. But oh my god, it feels like freaking heaven on your skin. Here's a swatch of that. It's super, super pretty, but what I love most about it is like how the consistency feels on your skin. And blend it out, it just has this gorgeous natural pink color. I'm going to tell you, every time that I've been wearing blush, I wear blush in all my videos, but every time someone comments what blush are you wearing in a video, it's like 99% of the time it's this one. I love how this looks. It's very pretty. They don't have that many colors, but for the price of like two, three, four dollars, it's really, really cheap, but I just, I love how it illuminates your skin and has more of like a dewy glow. Super pretty. And next is obviously elf blushes elf blushes in general I swear by I have a review swatch video regard that and I will put that in the down bar but you guys know I'm obsessed with elf blushes I own almost every single one but this one I've been loving recently so I just picked this one up and this one is in pink passion it's like it's not even showing it's like a neon neon bright pink color these have the most amazing pigmentation for drugstore blushes it's literally insane like oh my god look at that color so pigmented I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick that up just because 
those. It is dark out right now, but it is a gorgeous, gorgeous blush color. I love all of the e.l.f. blushes. I think they're great quality, they have great packaging, and they're $3 each, so you really can't go wrong with that. Just know that e.l.f. is only sold at Target, um, as far as I know. Uh, so the next thing is lip products, and this is that I'm actually wearing right now, and it's a Revlon lip butter. This one's in Raspberry Pi. I'm obsessed with Revlon lip butters. I can honestly say I own like eight or nine. I own a lot of Revlon lip butters. I own almost all of them as far as I know. I am obsessed with them. They are amazing, amazing. But basically what they are is they're like a balm gloss lipstick combination. So they're freaking amazing. This one is just one of the ones I'm obviously wearing now, but I love all of the colors. They're really moisturizing. They look really nice on your lips and they're just very like hydrating while still having color and still being glossy. It's just basically like heaven in a freaking tube. Um, and these are only, I want to say, probably like 7 to $8, so definitely a lot cheaper than high-end lip products like this. So next is a lip gloss, and this is the Revlon lip gloss, and this is the shade Pink Pursuit. I really like Revlon lip glosses. This is the only one I own, and I definitely want to pick up more. It's basically just... I don't know, I would call it like a brownie pink color. It's a very neutral pink, as you can see, it's got shimmers in it. But what I like most about it is it's creamy. Here's the little swatch of it. It's very creamy, it's not sticky, anything like that. It has like a very neutralized scent, so it doesn't feel like I'm wearing like candy on my lips, which personally I'd probably like. But it won't irritate you scent-wise. It's just a very like nice formula, very not sticky. And I'm definitely going to pick up more. Those are probably like eight or nine dollars at the drugstore, also a really good deal. So now on to eye products. I have actually never tried an eyeshadow base from the drugstore just because I personally have not heard anything good about eyeshadow bases from the drugstore as anything opposed to Urban Decay or Too Faced or MAC Paint Pots. And personally for me, I obviously think there's some things you should invest in and a good primer, an eye primer, and a good face primer is something that I swear by investing in. So I don't even think I'll ever try picking up one from the drugstore unless I hear amazing reviews about it, just because I definitely would preach to you guys if you're going to invest in something, invest in a high-end eyeshadow primer and a high-end face primer just because I think they really like do what they're supposed to do as opposed to drugstore ones which I really personally haven't heard anything good about but if I'm wrong let me know I'll try something out and so the only thing I have for like kind of like an eyeshadow base is the Maybelline 24 hour color eye studio tattoo eyeliner eyeshadow cream product things so the one I have is in tough as taupe I again did an entire review on this I'm obsessed with this color. It's insane. I really wish they had more neutral colors. I'm going to try and pick up more, but aside from that, I am obsessed with this. It's wonderful. It doesn't crease. Anything is beautiful. Here is the little swatch of it. I love it. Okay, so now moving on to eyeliner. I have one liquid liner and one pencil liner. And so what I use for liquid liner currently is a L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Linear Intense Liquid Liner. So before any of you comment, whatever happened to your favorite of the NYX one? Um, the NYX eyeliner I lost and have yet to find it in stores again, but yes, that is my all-time favorite liner. But because you can only find it at Ulta or places that sell NYX, and most drugstores don't sell NYX, I didn't include that. But if we're going to strictly drugstore like CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, places you can get that, this is definitely my favorite liquid liner. A felt tip liner. It's so black, which is what I love about it. I, like, absolutely adore it. Look at that. Crazy, crazy. It's a really easy to use liquid liner. It's very controllable. The brush works really nicely. I'm just a huge fan of it as a liquid liner. I definitely still prefer my NYX one, but obviously I can't include that in this video regardless if I had it or not because it's not technically drugstore. But um, if you're going straight by the drugstore, that's like, I want to say $10 at least at mine, and I love it. Next is pencil eyeliner, and I used to love the Rimmel Soft Coals. I still love those, don't get me wrong, but I found a cheaper alternative that is basically the exact same quality, and that is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliners. So these are 99 cents at the drugstore, so I was kind of like, why not try them? Like, they're 99 cents, what do I have to lose? A dollar? What else could I buy? Like, a Tootsie Pop? This is a swatch of it right there. It's basically just a golden brown color. This is my favorite color of all of them. They're gorgeous. I definitely... <laughs> I, I'm a huge, huge fan of this. It's perfect for 99 cents, definitely worth 99 cents. Obviously, you're not going to be getting the quality of like a $20 eyeliner, but for the price, it's impeccable. So the next eye product is eyeshadow, and I will be the first to say I don't really do have that many 
different eyeshadows from the drugstore just because again something I really believe in investing in is high-end eyeshadows if you guys have any drugstore eyeshadows you think I must get or any little quads that we do tutorial with let me know and I will definitely try those out but right now I've really been liking the knock on wood wet and wild color icon eyeshadows wet and wild eyeshadows all together are very very nice quality they're gorgeous this is this one it's just a brown, a light pink, and kind of like a medium mauve color. They're really, really, really nice. Um, I cannot say enough good things about them. They're super soft, super pigmented, and they just like look very, very nice on. Um, they're the only drugstore eyeshadows that I wear on a regular basis as opposed to my high-end ones. Like these ones definitely go with ones I wear as much as high-end, um, and they're amazing. So here's the swatches of those three so nice and that's like two or three dollars so I think it's a really really good deal and next is mascara and this is my holy grail mascara above all of the high-end mascaras I own everything I think this is the only product that I would pick this is definitely like my all-time favorite drugstore product ever 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 and it is the NYC hydrating no it's not this is the NYC separating mascara high definition I freaking love this. This has become my favorite mascara of all time. It is freaking amazing. I like it more than I like any mascara I've ever tried. I literally keep going back to this. I used to use Rimmel London Sexy Curves. Love that. Use the Falsies. Use Revlon Grow Luscious. I've been using the False Fibers L'Oreal one. They're all decent. This I can't even, I can't even, it has a very, very simple, simple, boring wand, but it makes your lashes so long and so thick. It's a very wet mascara formula, which is like a thousand points in my book. I love wet mascara formulas because I really feel like they coat my lashes. In one coat, all of my lashes are thick and dark and black, and I love dramatic lashes. And coming from a girl who has baby lashes, this works so well. It can clump, but you just have to work with it slowly, and you achieve amazing results. Again, so freaking cheap. Okay, so that is all of my drugstore overall favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thumbs this video up if you want to see more specific groups of favorite videos, favorite lipsticks from the drugstore, favorite eyeliners from the drugstore, favorite face products from the drugstore. So thumbs up this video if that's what you want to see and I'll look down there and if there's some thumbs up, they'll be like, hey, they want to see it and then I'll do it. Deuces! Deuces!